Well, let's turn our attention to our relations between Turkey and Russia. Of course, it's dominated the head headlines in the last week or so. To talk more about this, I'm joined now by Selman Oğut, who's a human rights researcher uh, with the uh, SETA Foundation here in Istanbul. Thank you very much for Thank your you time. Thank you for uh, talking to us. Yeah. Um, we've heard US President Barack Obama call for de-escalation in tensions between mm -hmm. uh, Russia and Turkey. Is that possible? And if so, how? Yeah, it's possible somehow, but uh, I don't think that it's possible nowadays because you know the sanctions which are which were explained uh, by Russia uh, against Turkey. You know the prohibition of the import of some uh, vegetables and uh, fruits, and also including the poultry, and also uh, some of the uh, banning uh, about the uh, charter flights and also the, some students here in Turkey who are called back to mm. Russia. Uh, I don't know, nowadays do you, it's... Do you um, see Turkey responding in kind and in turn sanctioning Russia? Or do you think Turkey are gonna sort of perhaps not respond in that way? Yeah, it must be because, you know, uh, the states always uh, acting in a, a reciprocal way. Uh, so. Uh, this is very important for a state to uh, answer a kind of sanction to give a response to this kind of sanctions because it's very harmful for the economy of this state and but it is also very harmful for the Russian side it's not just they say for example they can import some vegetables and fruits from Venezuela but with compared to Turkey it's, I think, a little bit expensive. When we talk about the de-escalation that President Obama is calling for, uh, it seems that the two sides are in a, a deadlock, a stalemate at the moment, because Vladimir Putin wants an apology mm. and it doesn't look like it's going to be forthcoming from yeah, President the, Erdogan. Uh, Prime Minister Dovutoğlu said that uh, Turkey won't apologize. Yeah, I think it's a kind of deadlock. And uh, we are just talking about the upper uh, face of the iceberg, I think. Uh, because uh, the problem is not just the shutdown uh, of the plane. Uh, we are talking about the conflict in Syria and mm. the uh, Russian wish uh, in order to be a hegemon at that area and also Turkish uh, interest at that area. So uh, this is something different. Uh, this so, is not so just something about a plane. You don't think that the de-escalation that that President Obama is calling for that we're going to see, if anything, you're, you're predicting relations to get even more sour between Turkey and Russia. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're asking about the Obama's explaining. Well, Obama wanted de-escalation. You say mm -hmm. it doesn't look as if it's going to yeah, happen it's not, anytime it's soon. It's not, it doesn't seem likely right now, nowadays. Okay, thank you mm -hmm. very much, Salman yeah. Oğuz. Thank you're you very much for your welcome. time. You're welcome.